Hello everyone, welcome to the NumPy course. So NumPy is also known as a numerical Python or it's a library which is used as alternative for your less than Python. So uh, it is a Python library which is used to working with the less than array. So first thing, what do we mean by NumPy or why we call a numerical Python? So basically we call NumPy is also known as numerical Python. And here if you observe, it's a Python library. It's a Python library. So Python library means there is a various type of libraries available or packages already there in a Python which we have to use it. So NumPy is one of that library. With the help of this, we can access or we can working with the features of list and arrays which is not possible in python to use for those particular thing we used our numpy numpy now where or how we are using this particular numpy before we'll be knowing that who uh, like who developed this particular thing so this library was developed by jim hookney this library is developed by whom this library is developed by Jim. H O G U N I N. So this library was developed by Jim Hoom. So now we'll see some operations of NumPy or Python library NumPy. So there is a variety of operations are there. So we'll concentrate with the some operations operations like whenever we worked on the numpy library we have to follow some operations like we are working with the mathematical mathematical operation we are working with the logical operation we are working with the transformation Then we are moving to the sieve manipulation. If you work with the sieves, we'll be working with the sieve operations. Then there was a lots of linear algebra operation because we call as this is a linear algebra. The reason behind that because we call as these things are all a numerical Python, right? NumPy we call as a numerical Python. So whenever we call as a numerical Python, numerical python it means that it will support the mathematical logical shape linear algebra so th with the help of this particular library we can easily work with the all the mathematics function what is already used so this is the operations or use of your python library so it is also a replacement of a matlab let's see how it will be a replacement of matlab suppose this is one memory or Python memory Python memory inside this there is a another libraries are there so for now please concentrate with the numpy library different libraries like pandas pandas then you have matplotlib then you have skype at last we are having a numpy numpy so it will be also a replacement of memory of your matlab so before the, before the numpy library we have to use all this matplot as a traditional way but now to do the easiest way we are directly working with the numpy basically this matplot was a replacement for your numpy library as well as your skype library and your matplotlib library so basically matlab of replacement for this three libraries with the help of this it will be working on the various platform various advantage or various way like easily we can do all the array orientation comp computing easily we can find out the dimensional way we can present the graphical way all the mathematical operation we can easily we can perform with that 
so now after knowing all the features all the key values all the alternative about numpy the first thing comes to the mind why we use the numpy we know the alternative we all those things but why why not the different thing so the main thing there numpy will be provide you the array object so that will be in a 50 50 x faster than the traditional python list as i told you numpy is a alternative for your list array matlab so why what is the reason we can do it all the operation with the list also just we want to design in the that way that can support it but when it comes to the memory we need the things to be a more faster because we know that nowadays the faster things will be we working with that we need to reduce the time and do it fast so the main reason behind that it will give you the 50x fast faster than your list and array so that is the main reason behind that why we are using a numpy and why numpy faster than list that is the next question comes to the mind like why why it should be a faster than list why not the different libraries because it supports the both thing and it's a continuous place in a memory when i am explaining you people the memory of that so this is particular your memory right we call this is a memory so whenever we use the memory these things to save it by default it stores the way the numpy values this is the values how we are saving the values inside that way it skips us the memory should be work faster memory should be work faster so that's the reason we are using this and in a cpu architecture the optimized time suppose this is your cpu memory optimized time will be less because every cpu will work with the optimized time right so optimized time will be less so that's the reason most of the time we are using numpy except with the other things in a python